What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Unfortunately, it's not the news that we want to be hearing today. So we have to, the, the, the part where I fix the floor has to get redone. The reason for this is if it was for a road car, it would be fine. But for the structural integrity of the cage and the car itself, it, it won't pass. Um, so Craig's actually busy here at the moment with it. He said that unfortunately it was a good attempt. Not, not, not bad for a novice. Yeah. So I guess you could you could say it like that. Yeah. Ugh, I mean, if you were gonna do it for a road car and repair it, I think you'd have been alright. Like I said again, not bad for a, for a first timer. Um, fairly decent actually. Um, but unfortunately, with a, when it comes to a race car and especially the design of the roll cage, the roll cage plants right there. And this section here is where Ryan's repaired it, or you've repaired it. Yeah. Um, and if we, if we had to have a failure with any of that, basically the roll cage just pushes through the floor. Um, and then obviously the biggest part is if the roll cage here collapses from a, a, like a roof knock and it just collapses through the floor, the cabin area that the driver sits in then becomes smaller. Yeah. And it could compromise his headspace, <laughs> his life, and a couple of other things. Yeah. So I'm not prepared to take the risk. So I said to Ryan when the car got you, I was like, listen, I've taken the door off, I've had a good look at it. Uh, I'm not comfortable building a roll cage on top of that. So I said, I've got a, a scrap body outside that we can cut pieces out of. Um, I said, let's rather do that. Cut that section out and uh, graft it in. And that way, then the structural integrity of the car is good. Because obviously that was rusted. Yeah. And hence the metal was soft. Mm. So, yeah, let's put a decent piece of steel in there, reinforce it um, so that it's going to hold. Mm. Um, yeah, and obviously then it'll probably be stronger than OEM, you know, with a little bit of extra welding and whatnot. Yeah, so, yeah. So and then from there we'll go with the cage. So, so, yeah, so this, this is off the, off the donor body. So basically, we're going to graft that in there. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So, yeah. So, Yo, so it's a massive piece, actually. Well, I've cut it a fair, a fair bit bigger than what I've needed. Yeah. Again, you know, that's it. you don't want to cut it too short. It's the same as the roll cage. You rather cut a little bit extra than what you actually need. Yeah. You know, then from there, we'll trim back to... I mean, essentially, all we really want to replace is this section from there to there. Yeah. You know? But again, there's some... It's cut a bit bigger, like above the hinge here for mm. ease of fitment and whatnot. Okay. So. Unfortunately, there, there was a bit of bad news, but... From this, we can just take um, what we've learned, and now I'm going to learn now to if I want to replace a, a full sole like he's doing currently. Um, so yeah, we can just learn from this. But once that's done, then at least the cage will start going in. So unfortunately, it's bad news, but it is what it is. I'd rather do it to make sure that if the car had to roll or something, it doesn't squish my head. Um, so yeah, that's a plan of action for today. Cut the back section. Either cut the back section off or the front section so that you one piece is longer than the other. Okay. So that, that way you can weld across here, then run up before you weld the other one. Okay. So yeah, that's what I meant earlier about the zigzagging. So I'm gonna cut this section, but just this outer layer. And then I'm gonna lay this over inside the car. And obviously it'll give me a cut line mm. relative to the car. And then we'll use the outside section and then we'll line up the inner section that way we can replace these spot welds before we weld up there on the outside okay, and through yeah, here on the inside yes. and obviously once the roll cage is in place you can't get there yeah so you can't okay. do this replacement after well you well you can but the cage is in the way so it's hell of a difficult yeah so anyway here goes We've got a perfect cut line here. Yeah. So if we go inside the car now, lay this over, over there. Yeah. We just basically got to draw a line across the bottom, and that gives us a perfect cut line. Okay. So yeah. That's what I saying. Yeah.
crazy. <laughs> There you go. There's your souvenir of your welding. Check this thing. <laughs> Yo, but look how good those welds are. No, <laughs> okay, we've got the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, he's cut out the whole side of the car. A lot more than I did, but... <laughs> I'm sure that's perfect integrity for racing. It's all about the lightweight, eh? The lighter the car, the faster the car. <laughs> right now, it's the Fred Flintstone edition. <laughs> oh, that's hectic. Yeah. Flintstones 2020 reboot. Oh yeah. <laughs> this round the curve that must come off and then obviously we've got the double paneling for yeah. the firewall slash foot to, uh, well. Yeah. Once that's cleaned off this folds in under that one. The step's been cut this side and it's been cut on the other one. We just need to step this one so I'll probably take the outside section okay. off and that way we can do some spot welds up there, weld down the inside and then weld on the outside and that way we've got some yeah, side to side okay. motion, you're not all just like relying a on a butt weld. Okay. And then the floor, what I'll do is I'll overlap it slightly. So there'll be a bit of a seam there. Okay. So I won't try butt weld it, I'll fold it over. Okay. And then I'll weld it there on the top and there on the bottom. So the two welds will be offset slightly. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So I've cut out um, your handiwork here and uh, grafted in the new piece. As you can see here, that's basically that stepping uh, that I spoke to you about yeah. earlier. So it just gives it a bit more rigidity rather than just cutting it straight through and butt welding it. Yeah. Um, so there's an overlap there, there's an overlap here as well. You can see the cuts there and then inside it's way down there. Um, and then, like I said, the floor we're going to overlap and then weld on the top and on the bottom in different spaces. So there'll be about a 10 millimeter overlap. And then yeah. obviously everything now just needs to be trimmed and have the edges clean, get all the, the contamination and paint and whatnot off. So that when we weld, we can get a good penetration on the welds. Yeah. Um, and then I'll also run a bit of filler plate behind that section, behind that section, behind that section. And then everything else is spot welded. And I'll, except the floor, obviously, that'll just be seam welded from both sides. Oh, okay. um, the, the sound deadening material, obviously, and the foam needs to be removed mm. there. But we'll do that in the morning. This, this is all just mocked up to make sure that it fits. Yeah. So that'll be all for today's video guys um so obviously the floor i tried my best with um like craig said it will if it is for a road car it could have passed for a race car unfortunately it won't pass because of the structural integrity of the cage and the car itself um so but um that'll be all for today but in tomorrow's video which will be part of this video actually um so in the next 30 seconds we will be starting with um the back of the cage um, actually, we'll be finishing the welds on the floor. Well, Craig will be finishing the welds on the floor. Then we're going to do a small section on the back of the cage just to show um, how the welding and uh, how the cage is done. And then he, once everything sorted there, Craig's going to prep the car for the rest of the cage and then we can continue from there. But uh, thank you so much to the sponsors that are um, on board currently. Um, Handy Danny Services, CD Automotive, um, Coming PC Tuning, that Leeds guy, Under Dropper Supplies, um, thank you so much for all coming on board and I'll see you guys in the next video.